And he finally just stopped me and said, Chris, how many of your clients are financially free? Right? Like where they don't worry about money. I'm like, well, some of these retired physicians are watching CNN. So if you watch CNN, you're going to be worried about everything. So no, nobody's free because they're all scared. And then the second one happened from a guy I trained that went and left to do real estate investing. And I remember we had a call with him. It was the end of 2005. I was wishing him happy new year and stuff. And, and he's like, and, and we got this argument about what's better stocks or real estate. And he finally just stopped me and said, Chris, how many of your clients are financially free, right? Like where they don't worry about money. I'm like, well, some of these retired physicians are watching CNN. So if you watch CNN, you're going to be worried about everything. So no, nobody's free because they're all scared. He's like, well, good job. Way to go. How about this? How many of you guys as financial advisors are financially free, not off the, not off the commissions you're earning, but actually doing these mutual funds, these investments? How many of them are financially free off these investments? I'm like, well, none. Maybe with this one guy. And I found out he wasn't either later on. So none of them, none of us were financially free off these investments. Even guys that have been working since the 1970s as financial advisors, they weren't financially free. So why would we think this would actually work for anybody else, mm. right? And that was the thing that got me out of the industry. That's why in 2006, March of 06, I'm like, I'm done. I can't be an integrity teacher stuff anymore. And that's when I was able to actually do the opposite, focus on cash flow and passive income and multiple streams of income and things like that. And I was actually able to get out of the rat race by that summer of 2006, pretty much doing the opposite of what I was teaching people as a financial advisor.